What's going on boys? Welcome back to the channel. We're here. We're doing a little video. A little something special. A little something special. Five things I hate about the Fiesta. I love this car though, that's the problem. So it took me a little bit to come up with this kind of stuff, but we're here, we're gonna do it. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? We're looking at the trunk, okay? The big old dump truck on this thing. If you look at a regular Fiesta SE, non-ST, and you put it side by side with this one and take off the badge, whoops, whoops, where'd my car go, dude? I don't know which one it is anymore. It is so base looking and it's so bulby, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, there's ways to fix this in the aftermarket, which is why it's there, but stock. This thing looks like an actual hunchback. Whenever I see another ST on the road, I have a severe issue deciphering whether it is a SE or an ST. This is a little bit sad. There's a bit of a price difference there, right? Throw a wing on top of this, throw a wing riser, throw a diffuser on there, throw a wide body, do whatever you want. That'll fix it, but as it is stock, it just looks really bulby. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's not my, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. How about this? You can let me know if I'm wrong in the comments about the Bulby Hunchback. Can we agree on that? Thank you. I hope you all are enjoying this position that I'm in to show you this. Right here, we have the hole of death. Okay, this is the freaking death hole. I bought an SD card for my camera, for this one actually, to film a video for the boys, dude. Guess what happened? I opened that puppy up, slip, right there. Let me, let, let me give you a closer look. Let me show you what this looks like. That thing right there, this hole. When your e-brake is up, you're done, dude. You better protect yourself. You might slip and fall. You might slip, break your neck, and land in here and never come out. So basically what I'm saying is, if you have anything valuable at all to you, go ahead and leave it outside the car or leave it in the back seat. Because it might just never come back. And it'll stay there. And it'll live there. Rest in peace. SD card, rest in peace. So, this is my second Fiesta ST. So I know that the, it's not limited to one, okay? It's limited to all of them. The freaking motor ticks like a mofo, okay? It makes some really, really concerning noises. Especially at a standstill, like an idle. I start to freak out and think I have rod knock because of the noises that come from this thing. So I'm, I'm gonna turn it on and I'll show you what I mean. Just, just hold on. Motor's on. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. Clearly we got some ticking in there. What that is, is direct injection. It's not a problem. It's supposed to sound like that. Every once in a while, for some reason when I start it up, and this might be because I have like really low oil, but I highly doubt it. It sounds like there's rod knock for some reason. And, and just in general, sitting at a light or like anywhere, it's a loud motor. Just the motor itself is loud. It's, it's odd, it's really weird. I'm not gonna question Ford's engineering and why they do this and why it sounds like that, but it's a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. This right here. Now what I'm talking about is the freaking wheel gap that's right there. You might not be able to see it that well because you might not be at the best angle, that's okay. ST owners, no, but you, as a non-ST owner, you can take my word for it, I promise. My last ST, I had coilovers on it. I dropped that fool. I dropped it. No matter what, this back wheel, this wheel gap, will always sit higher than that front wheel gap. No matter what you do. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it has something to do with like, I don't even know. I don't even want to speak on that. I don't even know. But it is extremely frustrating because your car always constantly looks tilted. I mean, technically I could just drop it and it, it wouldn't hit anything. So the, the fact that it it just does not, no matter what coilover you put on it, go like tuck the wheel in the back, it's really weird. Maybe on bags you can do something about that, but I'm not going bags and I never plan to, but who knows. Then you might be able to take care of that, but coilovers, lowering springs, whatever you do, you're gonna have some wheel gap in the back. You can't get rid of it. Face it, it's okay. Last and definitely not least, because this is very important, the interior. It is eerily similar to a base Fiesta SE. The gauges are the exact same apart that we have 160 mile an hour speedometer and they have like 140 mile an hour speedometer. The dash is the exact same. The wheel is pretty much the exact same apart from the ST logo right here. 
The seats have a nice little ST stitching right here. The cloth ones do at least. A little design. But other than that, it's it's literally a base SE in here. You figure if you're buying an, a Fiesta ST, they would do something different, right? Like something kind of drastic, I, I guess. Ford definitely had a different thing in mind, which is totally fine, because again, the aftermarket, it exists. But you can put seats in it, you can change out stuff on the dash, you can get inserts for the uh, air vents, you can do things to your start button, make it red, make it blue, make it gray, make it whatever the hell you want. As a stock car from Ford, it's just odd to me that they didn't decide to do anything drastically different, if you know what I mean. So that concludes the five things that I hate about my Fiesta ST. I don't particularly hate any of those things like I said before. Again, this is my second Fiesta. Okay, I bought it for a reason. They're freaking awesome cars. There's definitely some little things that you'll find that aren't the best. Considering that you can get like a used one of these for under 10 grand sometimes, for what it is, it's really freaking good. All in all, I love this car to death. I can't wait to build it. I can't wait to have you guys watch me build it. Hopefully you guys stick around. Which brings me to my next point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I appreciate everyone that subscribes. I think that's really cool. I'm still working on getting better in front of a camera. Like I don't really know what to do with my arms right now, but that's okay, I'm figuring it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment. That ends it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.